All right, we have recruited another one to the dark side. Yep. <laughs> I finally convinced Jen to try an RPG. You didn't convince me. I did it. it no, good. you did not convince me. I felt shamed by the community about my retro gaming repertoire and the fact that I was just like, I hate turn-based RPGs and I had never played one and then Scott played one. He's like, they're the shit. You should play one. Guess I have to play one for all those reasons. You can think it was just you. So but it wasn't. <laughs>Pull it out. Hi. 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 Final Fantasy VII. Final Fantasy VII. And I, this is the way I played it. I think people would say that that is. You know what? I'm just gonna put it back down here. What? They'll know what I'm talking about. Where do I put it? Right there. That's glare free. Okay, we'll go I with that. I bet you it is. I kind of want to check it, but I'm just gonna let him go. All right. So Jen's gonna do somewhat of a review style, but like, there's been a, there's probably about 15 million reviews on yeah. this. How many hours? How many hours did you put into this? Right off the bat. 60 fucking hours. At least. At least. Yeah, maybe a touch more. Who knows? Yeah. Even though. How long to beat.com says 37 hours. I don't trust them anymore. No, I don't trust that. That's like people are like mm, flexing and being like, okay, I beat it in 32 hours. Then I don't need that kind of pressure in my life. And I'll tell you why in a little bit. But I beat the game. There was maybe even some tears almost, but I did beat the game. Get into the story here. What are your thoughts on the story? <gasps> my greatest enemy in the entire game was the story. I looked up a few different story explanations. I even typed in Google, Final Fantasy VII story for dummies. I came across this Chase Kip. He has many subscribers. The The video itself has like over 800,000 views. Explained in 23 minutes. I did a lot of laughing. I'm not sure how much more of the story I understand, but the general overall opinion of the story is it was a bit confusing. I would have liked this in chronological order, but you get what you get and you don't get upset. Sounds like you're upset. I'm not. I just, I wish I, <laughs> I wanted to be able to do this review and understand it better. You want to know, just like most people that haven't played it, why do people like, are like crazy about this game? Why? Everybody says you have to yes, play Final Fantasy VII. I want to know why it started the way it did. I'm like, Oh shit, I have somebody else's save file. I started right in the middle <laughs> at a reactor and I gotta go blow that shit up with people. Didn't I don't even you message know me yet. or something? Yes, work? I did. I'm like, do I need to start this over, Scott? Is this your save file? And you're like, no, that's just how it starts. I'm like, that's confusing. And that was confusing for me. Yeah. And then the whole first probably 10 hours of the game, 15 hours of the game, I'm like, when's this shit gonna ramp up? And then I get into the world map and I'm like, that whole first thing was just a the kind of starter. Like, what? It, I enjoyed it. I did enjoy it. Uh, for me, it really didn't start until after you get in the city. Yes, when yeah. you get into the map. Yep. When you can start exploring stuff. Yep. And I'm like, oh, okay, this, that's what I assumed a turn-based RPG was. I'd have a map and I'd be like, you know, do the thing and whatever. Oh, yeah. Also, story-wise, I, I went and changed a lot of the characters' names. <laughs> None of them can be talked about on camera because I was not PG about she it. Had potty mouth. I had a potty mouth. So that really helped the story because for the first five hours of the game, it was an inside joke with me and myself. And every time a character would come up on the screen and, well, Cloud's name was Mother Effer. And every time he'd say anything, it sounded like people talking back to him when they would address him were really mad at him. And I was like, this is awesome. It's like Samuel L. Jackson was talking. Yes, yes, oh, every, fuck. yes, exactly. <laughs> Things I didn't get from the story the first time around that I did with that review, I was like, oh, oh. he was injected with something that made him soldier. But that was all in his mind. And I was like, I didn't get that at first. I didn't get that. Yeah. That was kind of him making his own kind of fantasy up about it. I'm like, oh. Final Fantasy. That, that makes sense. So yeah, and the story was a little bit convoluted for me, but I didn't really need to get 100% of it in order to enjoy the game. No. Yeah, so 
It was fine. It was whatever. But it was good to go back after you finished the game to go back and it actually was. hear everybody's thoughts, have the story explained a little bit better, and then you it And then really... how to properly pronounce everything because they don't say anything in the game. Yeah. So then I knew how to pronounce stuff. Like what? Like materia. Like when I first read it, <clears throat> I just read Matera, mm -hmm. and or some people pronounce it Mako, some people pronounce it Mako, some pr people I was pronounce it, it Mako. I did too, but I heard somebody else pronounce it Mako. <laughs> Tifa and Tifa and Aerith and Aerith. I shit you not. There's some places that spell it well, A E R I S or A E R I T I T H. Depends what part of the world you're from. I guess. But yeah, that was that was something. Yeah. But I learned some stuff. Yeah. I learned how to pronounce it. So stuff. you enjoyed the story overall. I overall, yeah, yeah. It it didn't it didn't take away from it. Um, it didn't completely add to it because I didn't fully understand it. But it was it was fine. Yeah. It was fine. Yeah. I'm sorry. It was fine. Difficulty. Let me here. Let me tell you a story. Once upon a time. Once upon a time, <laughs> there was an evil witch that sat on the chair beside me. <laughs> and when she couldn't beat Sethroth, she fucking lost her mind. It was almost cried herself to death because you know witches and water, right? <laughs> I told, I told him, I'm not playing this fucking game ever again. And you're like, and you said very husbandly. We're like, take her down a notch, like. <laughs> do not react, do not engage, try to, like, nuclear level, whatever, try to bring her down. And he's like, that's fine, you'll try it again later. You'll, you'll get it tomorrow. You'll get it tomorrow. I'm not fucking playing it tomorrow! <laughs> you said the fuck thing! <laughs> I'm like, fucking throw this fucking controller through one of these TVs. You're like, you shouldn't throw a controller through a TV. No, you placate no at me like a toddler. No, dear. You're like, please don't do that. do that. Don't, don't do that. And then I'm like, I'm never playing it again. And the first thing I did when I woke up in the morning and we had a thing with Saga Head for his podcast. Yeah. I was like, maybe I'll play a little bit of it to try to get myself to a point where I need to be Shit, in order to- grinding. Yeah, and I ended up playing it all day and I did beat it later that day. Sunday. Yes, it was that day. Yeah, too, I was it? like, yeah. I'm not going another week playing this game. I'm going to complete it this week. And it was Sunday at like 11 p.m. All right, so- It was- could be difficult. Well, let's get into the, yes, it could be difficult, but I think it's more of a amount of time that you have to put into it there, Yes, right? I, like I said, that howlongtobeat.com had me convinced I could beat it in 37 hours, so when I hit the 40 hour mark and I was like, we're gonna go down to the crater and beat go Sephiroth, we're gonna get it on, and I barely made it by Genova, and I got to Bizarro Sephiroth, and he went <clears throat> and killed me, I was like, why? <laughs> All right, how many times did Sethroth spank you before you finally figured out how to do it? Three times. No, just three spankings? Yeah, That's not bad. just three spankings. I needed to go level up some more. I needed, I went in with nothing. Yes. It was ridiculous. So, I did not have Omnislash. No. I did not have, um, you didn't have my, I didn't have Tifa's Limit Break, I, or Limit Break 4. I didn't have Clouds. I didn't Barrett's, have, do you have I had Barrett's for some reason. Yeah catastrophe and I had there were so many of these things I did not have and I was trying really hard not to look at anything online. So you so. spent a hell of a lot of time and money in the battle arena. I did. Yeah. I did because I need it. I mm -hmm. missed a ribbon in uh, Gaia Cliff if that's how you pronounce you, it. Nobody you only had one it. ribbon before. I that. had one ribbon. And yeah. And then uh, you got two in the battle arena. Right? Yes. I realized how bad or how badly I needed ribbon because with Safer Sephiroth and him constantly like, no, you're a frog. And I'm like, fucker, I gotta heal myself. I can't be wasting time it's way, making yeah. people people again instead of frogs. Wasted turns, right? It's a wasted turn. This it was, was gonna part take of forever. part of my explanation of you know, you know trying to calm her down after her meltdown is like, Jen, there's a strategy behind it. I said you you gotta figure out how to not waste turns. You know. Yeah, I know. You you have to know. If, if you have to take two people to heal, bang, bang, then yeah. one guy to attack, then it's gonna, it's a marathon, not a sprint. Not a sprint. And yes. I knew that, but I was like, I'm gonna go in with everybody at a limit break. And then he went, you're dead. And I was, was like, 
you just made me lose my yeah. limit break. We're not friends anymore. <laughs> we were never friends to begin with. So that's what was happening, right? You'd finally get somebody up to a limit break that he would fuck yes. with you. And you'd yeah. lose that big attack. You just couldn't get any offense off of him. No, it yeah. was ridiculous. So I did go to, I, I did the whole battle thing in order to get the W Summon Materia. Yeah. Materia seems still fucking doing She's it. She's still doing it. She and had me saying it. I had you saying it. Mm. And then I got Omni Slash from somewhere else. I got Tifa's Limit Break from the fucking piano. Who would know that in real life without a strategy guide? No one knows. I never got Yuffie. We have I never a got game. Vincent. I didn't know about these people. I tried to do it without because I wanted to just. Mm. But yeah. it can be difficult. <clears throat> it can be difficult if you don't have a strategy guide to follow or you've never played an RPG. Well, yeah. For this is my for, first one. The first one there, I think there's a, it's there's a lot to it. Looking back on it now, it doesn't yeah. seem as difficult. Sk to me. Skies of Arcadia, that I, that was my first RPG. There's it's a lot less complicated. And you, Yes, it doesn't feel true turn-based to me because I'd be like, be a polite bitch, let me go, you just went. No, <laughs> I'm going to try to like juice back up and you're going to go, fuck it, I'm going to hit you again. I'm like, yeah. hey, that was my turn. Yeah. But no, we're playing by like some sort of gangster rules and you just do whatever you want. Difficulty, how would you explain it to somebody that hasn't played it yet? If you have not played a turn-based RPG, if you have never experienced all these secrets and whatever, whatever, you're going to find it difficult. If you look up a review and it tells you how long it takes to play and you stick boldly by that, you're going to find it difficult. You're you, might get frustrated. You have yeah. to find your way and you have to listen to what people are saying because I went half the fucking game without Restore <laughs> All on. I'm like, why am I dying constantly because I can't oh, yeah. you know, I told you save that, right? people. And you're like, well, that was in the, the fucking... That, that was, was in the, the first, first of the game. And like, I'm like, they give you a tutorial. Didn't listen to that. Uh, I went, skip, 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 skip. They teach you. I know. I was like, unteachable. <laughs> All right. Well, let's it jump into it. Right, it's just the same game. Let's get into gameplay. Yeah. Right? What are your thoughts on the gameplay part of it? In my mind, what a turn based RPG was, like I explained to you, yeah. I didn't know there was all these different things with like your magic or your this or your that or whatever, whatever, what whatever. This, uh, this well, and that. it's just all these things that I can equip on my weapons or on my armor or like whatever. I just thought, eh, I hit you. Oh. Uh, you hit me. And I'm like, well, that seems boring. But there is so much strategy involved mm, yes. to, like I said, restore all with leveling up your character properly that you're not taking too much HP away, that you're not taking too much MP away, that you're kind of hoping to keep it as level as you possibly can so that you make good decisions. And I really, really had to figure that out. Really yeah. had to figure it out and figure it out on my it's, own. Uh really for those big boss battles yes it was not so, so much important. going around the world and grinding yeah and you'll hit a few here or there that are are tough but it's those big boss battles. yeah and then based on what characters you have really understanding like like okay if this character is my fighter i need a dedicated healer that isn't going to be your strongest fighter but they're going to be there for you in a pinch to heal the group. Yeah. And I didn't really, I kind of some heard of them, you talk about that before. Some but of them have like a limit break that will heal the party. Healing wind, yeah. yeah. Aerith, but she goes, well, what, what also, happened? You, Alex explained, what, 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 Yeah, she Yuffie, goes. Yuffie, uh, it does, also has a limit break. Oh, I didn't have Yuffie. I know. Because yeah. I put in disc three and I was like, <gasps> whoop tie. What? <laughs> What's this thing? What's that? I can get a character here that's gonna steal all my shit, but then give me back my shit. And give you some but then, good stuff. And give me some good stuff and be part of my party. I was past that part already and I couldn't but do it. There's a very specific order of how there you is. answer questions and yeah. how you deal with her. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So I I was already past that, so she wasn't part of the uh, the tag team situation <laughs> I had going on. So she wasn't. Yeah. She wasn't there. You enjoyed the. Did you enjoy the turn-based combat? Did you enjoy the gameplay? Oddly overall? enough, yeah. I did actually, and I was kind yeah. of surprised. It was. I just didn't think there would be a whole lot of like this, like suspense and kind of like intensity oh. to it. I wasn't expecting that. I was like, well, this is going to be boring because when I'm playing my favorite genre, survival horror, when I'm playing these games. And I'm like, there's all this suspense. I, I, I crave that from a game. Well, there is because I have to, you know, kind of counter with whatever they do. 
Your I last had to camp battle, out properly. You were like, oh, you were sweating. I was sweating. You were intense. I, it was super intense. It doesn't yeah. help that the chairs are like this pleather <laughs> material that absorbs all the heat and then throws it back at you a hundred times more. <laughs> but yeah, and then the big cut scenes where he's going through the entire universe and, and I'm like, Oh, sweet Jesus. I didn't know if it helped calm me down or if it was just like, it just worked, I can't. Yeah. I'm all worked yeah. up. I gotta get... His big moves. Yeah. Big moves I didn't know stuff. what it was gonna... Do. Well, I knew what it was gonna do to me. Yeah. But I was just like, I was like, please just let it speed through it. Let's you're get like, this over Are you like, you're strategizing as this and going, that's the problem. going on? I'm and... over strategizing yeah. in my head. So it's getting really... Like, it was it was a lot sometimes. It was yeah. a lot. Yeah. You ready to go on to graphics? Yeah. Graphics. <laughs> Well, we know. It's a PS1 game. PS1 game. Uh, this game was made in 1997. We yeah. looked it up. So, And since we're mentioning that, we are right at the 25th anniversary. We are. We're yes. going to put it on, out on the 25th anniversary. So, happy anniversary, Final Fantasy VII. I'm sure there will be another 15 million videos on this day. Yeah. So. <laughs> if you happen to stumble upon ours, yeah. we're sorry. Graphically, <laughs> graphically, it is not aged well. No. Those old no. polygon graphics there, there's, there. But you know what? I will tell you one thing right now. If you think you're going to get the Switch version, or maybe the PS4, I don't know. I play it on the Switch version. Yeah. Uh, those graphics oh, actually look Lord. worse. Because it, we the had sprites. them. Yeah, we're playing them side by side. Yeah, I'm on the CRT. I'm, I'm playing it on the 65 yeah. inch on the Switch. Hers looks better than mine. Um, yeah. Yeah. So, don't don't grab a Switch copy because you think it's graphically going to look better. No. No. It, it. I didn't think it did. The sprites were so saturated and like kind of high def on that background. It looked like you took a magnet and put it on like a watercolor or like muddled like situation. On a yeah. And yeah. you're like do 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 yeah. do do. The world looked muddy it did compared to your character and on the look, switch copy it didn't look right it just looked the, like they were kind of popped off and so, it didn't seem like they were part of the world the colors they look a lot better the graphically it just this just looked better it did it, look better it did look better i don't know and i haven't tried it on uh maybe that's her opinion but i'm gonna tell you right now we had them on two separate tvs the tvs are literally side by side and i'm and playing and i'm looking at hers and I'm like, yours looks better they do they really yeah. really do so yeah. if you're gonna play it i i you know Graphic-wise, that's better. No. Other areas, I would have preferred the Switch because there's like a speed-up option and yes. and stuff like that. So the modern features, are, the modern yeah. features and conveniences and saving, you know, where you can just kind of put your yep. Switch to sleep and just start up where and you I are. I know people they're probably thinking they're like another modern convenience is the controller, but you had a wireless controller. For I had PS2. a wireless controller and it was yeah. fantastic. So, and it lasted the entire time. Never had to switch the batteries. That's a good controller. That yeah. is a great controller. Yeah. Music and sound. Yeah. All right. We, what do you, I won't even give you my thoughts. Okay. On it because so, and I think, I think we have very similar opinions of it. You think? Yes. There right. was times where I was like, hmm, sleepy time music. It's time to go to sleep. It could be a little. Well, you guys all. It was very sleepy time music. There was two times I was asleep playing the game towards the first of the game. However, Cosmo Canyon. It does get better. Cosmo Canyon was awesome. I just wanted to stay there. Did you? That was yeah. my favorite music in the entire game. And I just wanted to stay at Cosmo Canyon, even though there was nothing really great about Cosmo Canyon, except for that was where you stored your materia. And, and you're like, no one will find it here because I gave it to everyone else and they fucked it up and I had it myself and I fucked it up. So I'm gonna leave it here. And that was the best place to leave it. But yeah, that was great music. I have no like real big complaints about the music. I understand. There's obviously no voice acting. No voice acting. Yeah. Um, but it wasn't it wasn't bad. But Cosmo Canyon, like I was like, yeah, this is my jam. And when I played it for you, you're like, yep, yeah, I can totally see what you're talking yeah. about. Cosmo oh, yeah. Canyon was the best shit. There was some like more upbeat music too, like Costa del Sol was like kind of cool too. Yeah, I can't think of that one. Yeah, that was pretty cool. The battle music was good. I, I liked the battle music. The yeah. music towards the end with with uh, Bizarro Sephiroth and Safer Sephiroth that was fantastic. Oh yeah. yeah, set the mood like fantastically. 
I was like sweating. I was, I, I think I was where they wanted me to be. Yeah. But yeah, it was, it was really good. I, the slower tones and stuff, I, I understood why, why they were there. Uh, I like the uh, Chocobo. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right because I didn't hear anybody else pronounce it. <laughs> You're like ostrich. But when that I thing would come on screen when you were trying to catch it, that made me laugh every time. Just oh, the yeah? sounds it was making because it took me many times to catch the damn thing. Yeah, I hear you. Yeah. Mm. And you know what I'm talking about. You throw the stuff at it. You're like, I threw it at the wrong fucking it looks like a turn up there. It, <laughs> yes! So that that made me laugh a couple times. But yeah, I have no real complaints about it. It was good. We're into your value and replayability. What do you think in here? Like there's you put sixty hours yes. into it. There is obviously a I hundred missed, hour plus game. I you missed want. so much. Yeah. I missed so much that I know I could put more time into it and it's not an expensive game. This this version right here um, in Canada right now would run us about 40 bucks. Yeah. Stories there, difficulty, there's definitely still a challenge. Yeah. Uh, your gameplay is still fun. Music is still good. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's your graphics are your weak point, but it's PS1. Yeah. You know then what, you, know you know what, know what you're what getting to into. Yeah. So you would recommend this to somebody? I would say. I yeah, I would. You did enjoy it. I did. So enjoy let's it. get into the overall. Your overall thoughts okay. of the game, your whole experience, your sixty hours you put in. Yep. So I said to Scott, I'm like, do you want me to share my overall thoughts with you or do you want me to just tell you when we do the video? And they're like, whatever you think. I'm like, well, I think I'm gonna save it and tell you what I thought when we do the video. So you guys heard me bitch and complain about a lot of stuff. And genuinely, genuinely I had to look at my top 10 list that I made for 2021 and really ask myself, where does this fit in? You're, so you're automatically putting it in the top 10 somewhere. I, it's in the top 10 because my criteria for being in the top 10 is leaving me with some sort of stain on my soul. Honestly, there was nights, several nights, that I would go to sleep and I would strategize in my sleep Oh, I'm like, okay, now you got to use haste. Now you got to use barrier. Now you got to make sure you do this. And I was doing this in my sleep without even like, it, it was staying with me. It was sticking with me. Once I beat the game and because I had had such a hard time getting into that point where I could finally beat Sephiroth and be done with the game, it just sat with me <clears throat> really like Oh my god. I wanted to give you a few days. This was a week ago. Yeah. You, you beat it a week ago. Was it a week? Uh, yeah, a week almost ago a week ago. Today? Six days. Six days. Yeah. I wanted to give you a week to like marinate. <laughs> let it brew a little bit yeah. here before you sat in front of the camera. Yeah. I like I I feel like I'm emotional even talking about it because it was such a hard battle towards the end because I had never played a turn based RPG. I really, really liked it. I, I'm kind of shocked how much I liked it. I'm, I'm seriously surprised. Like, so the I'll, end of the game saved it for me. It really did. That, that whole that, culmination, that struggle, that, that battle. Yes, yeah. it, it sat with me. It was like I was determined I wasn't finishing this game, and the fact that I did, and I'm sure it's not the hardest game in the world. And I'm sure some of you are like, well, probably. that was probably easy harder than you made it be like it yeah, was probably like but we're we are very yeah. new at rpg yeah i i so. really really loved it i so have you decided where you would put it I in your top 10 no i don't know it's not i know you're gonna hear this a thousand times in my lifetime it's not breaking the last of us or the last of us 2 yet oh you it's just not people and i'm there. sorry and maybe that's the modern gamer in me. <clears throat> and maybe had I experienced it in 97 when it first came out, I'd be uh, yeah. having a different Definitely. conversation Definitely. with myself. Yeah. Yeah. But it's in there. I just don't know where. I just don't know where, but it definitely changed something. I, it kind of opened my eyes to this, like, different... Uh, these different t genres of games. I don't have to stick to the same thing, and maybe that gets boring. Ah. And that really opened my eyes, and it, it, it really, like, it it sat there. It, it sat cool. there, yeah. So you're uh, you're a little more open-minded to try another part yeah. RPGs now? Yeah, I definitely, definitely oh, am. The comment section's gonna go <laughs> crazy. <laughs> yeah, uh, it's... 
I can understand why people rave about it, why yeah. I wish I would have played it back in 97, but I can't turn back time and You were a different person it. back then, too. I was a different person back yeah. then, but yeah, I'm I'm definitely more open to suggestions now and it's kind of changed my mindset about just playing the same game all the time. There you go. It, it really has. I, d I don't want to play the same game all the time now. I it's. I like to switch around because we have yeah. people. It, just the other day, somebody asked us, "What what genre of game do you like?" And I'm like, "I, I kind of like almost all yeah. of them to some degree. I don't yeah. want to play the same one. Like I do maybe lean towards you know a certain direction there, but." Overall, I like to try a bunch of different things now. Like, yeah. yeah, and I think that was this was kind of groundbreaking for its time because I would do certain things in the game and have certain outcomes which would be different from outcomes you would have. Mm -hmm. when, especially when you're, uh, you're, you're cross-dressing and I was like, well, I was just going to kiss him. But you had defeated the guards before that yeah. And went in as Cloud. And I went in as still a woman. Trying and to get some. I was like, well, how long do I have to keep this charade up for? Like, do I just <laughs> continue? going to go the whole way. I was like, I'm ready. <laughs> like, whatever, whatever <laughs> I got to make Cloud do, this is what he's going to do. Wow. But, yeah, I, I was kind of like, huh. I didn't even know that that was a thing back then. Mm -hmm. And, honestly, the fact that my changed names were in every title as it went along you don't see that now it's impressive the amount of gameplay that's in that yeah. game that is 25 years old oh yeah oh so, yeah. yeah it's it's definitely changed giving me a different outlook it's giving me a different cool. yeah it's it's really like i even i i feel like a little bit emotional talking about it like i'm sharing like a little piece of my soul telling you guys how i really felt about, felt about this game but it does it 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 resonated. It it's was cool. it that's was cool. weird. I'm sure a lot of people are gonna. I like wonder. That. I wonder that if that's why uh, Skies of Arcadia. If Skies oh. of Arcadia resonates so much with you. Because it was my first. It was your first. Pop my cherry. <laughs> it took your RPG cherry. <laughs> yeah. So I think that's why. Yeah. It does. It did what it did. But like, do you totally get what I'm saying. I absolutely yeah. do because I just played my first RPG. What was it? Even six months ago. Yeah, I know. So like, yeah, I absolutely know. Yeah. Yeah. But I don't know, guys. Like, wow. Oh, here I am. This is me now. I guess this is me now. <laughs> yeah. To quote Jim Jeffries, this is me now. <laughs> so, yeah. All right, let's wrap it up. All right. Thanks so much for watching, guys. And until next time, I'm still not going to chug this because I did too much talking in order to be drinking. But you did more drinking. So, all right. I'm good with that. Game on. <laughs>